Good afternoon YouTube and welcome to another video. Now this one's going to be a very quick video that I'm going to be doing about a bit of work on the camper van. Um, now it's a maintenance thing I'm going to be doing today, or not a maintenance thing, a, a kind of a part replacement. And it's not something I really want the channel to be about, um, but at the same time um, I do want to do more of these videos, I do want to do more in the van, and also I think this is something that if anyone's got a Volkswagen, especially a T5 or probably a lot of their other vans, or any kind of vans in general, um, with these sliding side doors, at some point, if they keep it long enough, they're probably gonna have to get to the point of replacing this part. Um, it's only been a quick video, so I just wanna quickly go through it. I'm gonna go straight into it rather than chat about anything else because it's gonna make it better for the people that wanna see how you replace the part. Um, today, or this evening, I'm gonna be doing a, this quick video about replacing the sliding door mechanism with the lower sliding arm. Um, now these fail in a few ways, um, here's a new one, uh, either the bearings can go on here, um, mine's gone a bit kind of loose, um, or they can just literally break off, there's a few other little ways they can go, but um, this one here on mine, like I said, it's just gone loose on here, and what that's causing, it's causing the roller or the bottom of it to scrape along the bottom of the van, and it's actually taking the paint away in the roller and I know that in the future it's going to cause it to rust by doing that. So it's going to be a very quick video about how you replace this. Now this is an aftermarket part, the genuine Volkswagen ones are around about 80, 90 to 100 pounds. You can pick these up, this one was 15 pounds off eBay I think, um, Amazon I can't 100% remember but I'll be putting the link up to it in the description anyway. I did actually ask on the uh, Volkswagen T5 forum on Facebook about uh, a good one to replace it with and the guy said he'd use this one and had no issues with it. I'm going to be getting the old part off now, just quickly telling you how you get it off and how you replace it. Um, now the first thing to do, what I do is I'll spin you around so you don't have to look at me all the time as I'm talking. Now the first thing you need to do is um, jack up this part of the door because when you remove the um, bracket here or the old slider, the door's gonna to wanna to fall off. And in an ideal weld, I'd highly recommend you getting a second pair of hands to make sure someone holds your door. Because if this drops out, um, I do believe the top roller and the door will fall, drop out as well. And then your door will likely fall on the ground and dent it and, and smash it up. So I'm gonna be doing this on this jack and I'm gonna be very careful as I do it. I'd probably recommend if you do wanna do it on your own as well, to somehow secure the top of the door with a bit of rope so if it does go, it doesn't go all the way down. Um, and what you've got to do, first of all, is slacken off these bolts. Now they use a, I'll just tell you which bit it is. They use a Torx bit, and they are a T40. Now they are a bit um, tight. Mine were very, very tight, and also the metal in the bolts is a bit weak, so they did feel like they were going to, um, to, to um, strip the threads. If you ever get something like that and there's enough on the bolt to get a pair of mold grips on there, this is a very, very good tip. I've used this hundreds of times in the past. Get a pair of mold grips on the outside of the bolt do it as tight as you can. And normally the mold grips will have more pressure than you can actually get in the Torx bit. So I've slackened these off already um, with the mold grips. They're quite loose now. I just need to take them off with the um, Torx bit. Also, once that's out of the way, there's another set of bolts in here um, no, these aren't actually Torx bits just to make things awkward. These are actually spine, spline bits. And um, when I actually find my, uh, here it is. The spline bits you'll need for this is this one here. Um, if it'll focus, which it won't. And this has got on the side of it, uh, that's an M8. So you need an N8, M8 spline bit. Normally a spline bits, as long as they aren't too tight, you can use a Torx on them. The same Torx that will undo this bolt will undo this one. Just make sure you don't force it because um, they're not quite as good as the spline bits. Uh, I'm gonna put you down now. I'm gonna get this part off and show you how you fit the new one. Right, the um, old one is out now and um, there's a lot of play in this part here, uh, which you can't really see. And that's why it's been dropping and you can see where it's rubbed there. So that metal bit has actually been rubbing and taking the paint away the bottom of the runner. Um, the new one I got, for some reason, does come with this part. 
um, and I think it also comes with a spring um, and I think it's a spring loaded latch to try and keep the door open a bit better to be honest never have a problem with the door not staying open so I'm not going to bother fitting it and the old part doesn't even have one um, so I'm just going to be replacing this without the spring if it causes any issues in the future without using that I will update the video in the description so you can find out to take it out once you've undone it and pulled it all the way down here um, undo the two bolts that hold this um, kind of bracket in this um, spring loaded thing that keeps the door open um, pull it out and then the new one will literally just slide in the gap and that's done now so you've got a new one now that shouldn't hopefully wear the bottom of the van away all I have to do now is bolt this up um, back how that went in there like that once that is bolted up it's just reverse fit these and then that should be it I'm not going to make the video any longer than it has to be um, yeah hope you found this useful um, hope this solves any issues you have with the bottom of your van whether it's stiff whether it's um, grating or whether it's um, just totally failed um, and I'll catch up with you on the next one in the future